Today we review Bad Johnson. It was released this year, 2014, and it is a hilarious comedy uh, with definitely romance in it. So it's a romantic comedy. IMDb only says comedy fantasy, but I'd say it's a fantastic romantic comedy. The movie follows Rich Johnson. He is a womanizer who blames his penis for all of the times his relationships have ended due to the fact that he's a habitual cheater. I don't think that's really fair to do since he controls it, but whatever. He makes reference to his penis being like a nine-year-old ADD kid and it just wears him down and eventually you have to give in to what it wants. Terrible parenting skills. And sidebar, I really don't get why you cheat. If you're with someone that you don't want to be with anymore to the point that you're going to go do stuff with someone else, you might as well just end it. There's no point in keeping both of you in a relationship if you're not really wanting to be there. So, yeah, don't cheat. He blames his penis for all his mess-ups, and it happens again and again repeatedly. You see it over and over, until the point where he actually wishes his penis would go away. He wishes it would disappear, and it does. But then it is reincarnated as an actual person who is more of a womanizer than he than Rich was initially, I'd say. Rich's penis is played by Nick Thune, who's hilarious in this, and Rich is played by Cam Gedantit. I don't really know how to say his name. He's James from the Twilight film. We also have in this Jamie Chung. She's like the second love interest we see. She doesn't last though due to the fact that he's a habitual cheater. And then we have Catherine Cunningham being Lindsay Young, who is the uh, love interest in this, who also our P, Rich's penis, doesn't like because once Rich is getting in love without needing to bang someone, the penis loses strength, I guess. So Nick Thune, our P, has to take down Lindsay and Rich and make sure that they don't end up together. The movie is hilarious. I've watched it three times and I still laugh throughout the film at different parts each time actually. The story is good. The acting in this is great. I think this could be like in a few years I'll have to come back and check but I think it'll still end up and pretty much become a classic comedy. Uh, it's kind of American Pie-esque where it's like the raunchiness. I wouldn't say it's like American Pie, but the raunchiness. If you liked American Pie, you'll probably like this. And that would definitely make this movie a keep. So, Bad Johnson released this year, 2014, is a keep. Thanks for watching. If you do want to reach me, you can do so by commenting down below. You can reach me on Twitter, at MadLFan. You can use hashtag TodayWeReview to assist in seeing them. Thanks for watching.